corner of the world. Today I'm back with another collab for you. This is our golden egg Easter Bunny A1. We did this one last year and we had a lot of fun with it. You had a lot of fun with it so we thought we'd come back and do it again. The way it works is that each of us gets a new box. Now this year we decided it was a new box to our channel because is when you look at the ladies involved in this, to find a new box that one of us hasn't unboxed is pretty hard. So it had to be new to our channel, not necessarily new to the, the group or the collab. So I decided to go with Fair Trade Friday. So if you want to see what my box is, hear all about it, and what I think about it, and then come join me. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. If you are new, hi, my name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxings. Subscription boxes, mystery boxes, and I do some hauls, Tea Tuesdays, spoilers, you name it. Anything I find fun or interesting and I hope you do too. If any of that sounds good to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And to my tried and true subscribers, thank you all so much for coming back and, spend, and supporting me. I love you guys so much. Okay, let's get into this. Like I said, this is a collab. Uh, we did do it last year. We're on the hunt for our golden Easter egg, or in this case, our golden box. And we're letting you decide what the golden box is. So what you have to do, each channel, like I said, will have a new box to their channel. Well, we will open it up. We're going to ask you to rate it from 1 to 10. And, and any... A one score you want to give it, you can give multiple channels the same score. It doesn't matter. Uh, but we want to know what you thought of the box. And then we want to know what was your favorite box out of all of the boxes is that uh, we are showing. And the one I am showing is called Fair Trade Friday. It is a monthly lifestyle subscription and it is all sustainable. Well, it's called the Fair Trade Subscription Club. So everything is fair trade, sustainable, uh, or getting things from around the world, but making sure that they follow all fair trade standards. So I actually have the February and the March one to share with you. I should say the March one came a little earlier than I expected it to. Oh, I knew the uh, February one was, but I didn't want to do two videos on it. So we're going to open them both. So let's get in here. The fair trade box is <clears throat> the fair trade box is on Crate Joy and they have their own website too. So it is $33 a month if you go month to month and then there is a $5 shipping fee. So you're talking $38 every month. If you go for 3 months, it's $31 plus the $5 still. Uh, and if you go 6 to 12, it comes down a little from that also. Oh, but overall, you're spending about $35 a month. So let's get in here. There. First of all, this is the only box that I get. I know even without the sign on the front that this is Fair Trade Friday because it's always the long box, the long skinny box. So let's get in here. There. I forget which this one is. Oh, this one I think is the March box. So we'll go with this one. Then first, and then the other one will be kind of a bonus. So it says, is Thrive. I'm thinking this is probably something in there. We will see. Yes, I think we're getting a spoiler of everything in here, right here. Or, yes, okay. So let me open this so you can see. So it does have this little like globe sticker on it. Go back to my paper. This is what it looks like when I look into it. So the first thing that they have on there is this Thrive Tote. So a little tote bag, canvas tote. So this is made by Joya in India. Look no further for the perfect bag to take with you everywhere you go. 
The Thrive Tote is 100% organic cotton canvas and crafted by the artisans of Joya in India. It's perfect for so many occasions. And, and then there is a QR code if you want to watch the artisans at work. And they do talk a little bit about the artisans down below. Oh, Joya exists to spark good in places marketed by extreme... Yeah, Joya exists to spark good in places marked by extreme poverty and modern slavery. The sparking good means providing sustainable employment to women and men from hard-hit communities. They work to help them support their families and keep their kids in school. Sustainability means supporting farmers and local businesses with organic cotton and recycled materials. They help their staff reimagine their lives, identities, and futures and those of their children. So you're doing a lot of good at ordering from Joya and Fair Trade Friday is doing a lot of good by working with them. Um, there's the tag and again, it kind of gives a, a description on the back of the company. So that was the first thing in there. Trying to see if they give us an idea of how they value it. And uh, they do spotlight a, a one specific artisan in there. All right, I don't want this to get too long and we do have two boxes to go through, so. Next we have a Floralology poster with Sana art by rescued teen moms in Kenya. Uh, so that is what it's going to look like. I think that is what is in this big tube here. Oh, it even says on the back, Sana Collection, art inspired by teen girls who have been rescued from desperate situations and are pregnant or learning to be moms. Wow. And again, there is a QR code if you are interested. That is what the art print looks like. That is really, really pretty. I need to get a frame and put that up. Um, a couple more things in here. There, and they show, of course, one of the teens here are on her, their spotlight. Ooh, we have a candle, Vanilla Bloom. This is made by Local Hope in the USA. Let's find that in here. Very cute. Oh, got a little dented there. That's okay. And that is what it looks like. Let's see how it smells. Mercy House Global. That's the company. Ooh, that smells good. It smells really good. All right, so let's read a tiny bit about this one. And it is poured by Local Hope in Houston, Texas. Three ounce candle creates a calm and comforting atmosphere with its warm, sweet scent. And Local Hope is Mercy House Global. It's located just outside of Houston, Texas. It's a city of more than 70,000 refugees, one of the largest populations in the USA. A Mercy House Global employs about uh, 10 women who have resettled in Houston. This group of artisans called Local Hope creates candles, spa products, and home decor uh, for fair trade. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. You know I love getting a candle. Well, and then, wait, I think there's one more thing in here. There's one more thing. Maybe I missed it. Oh, I did. I kind of showed it to you. Oh, when I was showing you the poster, but uh, this is from the same company. We get some postcards, so let me grab those out. Oh, oh, we got some nice cards. They're not postcards, they're actual cards. Aren't they beautiful? There's that one, and, and that one. Oh, I think this one's my favorite. Uh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, I love these. Absolutely love these. Okay, so that was my March box. Let me go through my February one quickly. Okay, and that was actually this little smaller one. And, but we know good things come in small packages, right? Okay, so this one is Flourish. Nourish, nourish to Flourish. Uh, again, I think we have some spoilers over here. All right, so, ooh, we have a rolling pin. Okay. Looks the same when you open it. 
So this is a French rolling pin. So it is just a straight rolling pin like this, unlike the ones that we typically see that have the a like spinny barrel in the middle. This is all one and piece of wood. Good. This is handcrafted tapered wood made in Kenya by Forged in Hope. Oh, which is another Mercy House Global all part of the organization there. The same one that did the candle in the first box. Fortune Hope, Hope is a global artisan from Kibra Slum in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, it's excited to partner with this talented family of artisans and step into a place of empowerment after they lost their business during COVID. And we believe God created this intersection of opportunity for a new season of dignified job creation. And, and they have Nicholas here, who is like the lead guy over there. All right. So cool. So very cool. Oh, all right. Next, what do we have? I have something called Butterboard. I don't think it's an actual Butterboard, though. I think it's another candle. Let me see, though. Is it like a body butter? No, it's not a candle. Ooh, that smells good. It has like a eucalyptus type scent to it. All right, so let's see. And it's very creamy. A uh, butterboard can't help, oh, sorry. Butterboard can help prevent drying and cracking. It can also be used for wooden boards, or wooden spoons and wooden handles on utensils. This simple mixture of oil and beeswax will help prevent cracking and prolong the life of your kitchen prep tools. That is really cool. So no, it's not for you. Oh, it would work uh, great though with the rolling pin and, and help preserve it. Neat thing. I love the curation. And okay, next we have a kitchen cloth. So this one looks like all like baking kitchen stuff. The other one was all about like thriving. Okay, so we have a nice little uh, kitchen towel. Oh, this is made in Thailand. And Ethicos Home is a lifestyle brand that's committed to bridging ethical practices with timeless pieces that will that will successfully reflect your that will successfully reflect your vision of home. They're a husband and wife team that has made it their goal to employ hands, inspire homes, and impact hearts in their business practices. As um they, a, for this order, Ethico's Home partnered with Naomi House, a social, a social enterprise and community developmental center in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And Naomi House provides sustainable wage jobs for at-risk women and families while also serving as a discipleship and leadership training platform for God's kingdom expansion. Very nice. Hey, so this is 100% cotton. It is eco-friendly and ethically made. And then we have, and they do highlight a one person here again. And, and we have one more item. Um, we have a notepad. A, uh, the floral notepad with art by Rescue Teen Moms in Kenya. So this is probably the same one that did that some of the item, the um, art and the cards in the March box. Uh, this cute notepad is a must have to jot down your thoughts, keep a running shopping list, or write a note to a loved one. It features art from Rescue Teen Moms in Kenya and will make you smile every time you use it. It's so nice, beautiful. Okay, so that was the February box. So Just because it's a collab, we do have a giveaway. Now each channel will have their own giveaway and then there will be a grand prize giveaway. A number one rule for all of those giveaways is that you must be subscribed to all of the channels in the collab. There will be a playlist below and all of the channels below will be listed. I do wanna thank, thank Miss Jackie Russell and Laura Wooten and for organizing this, doing thumbnails, all of that. Have you must live in the US because as I am shipping items and you have to live somewhere where I can send it at priority mail.
this giveaway will run for two weeks so until April 8th which I if I'm wrong I will put it here if I'm right then it will just be down in the description below so I will pick the winner or either on April 9th or May 1. I'm trying to just pick winners once a month now oh, because it just becomes a little overwhelming with everything I have. Uh, let me show you though what you will win. So I picked two items from each box for you. Well, from the March box, I, I have the Vanilla Bloom, um, the candle. Uh, now, Oh, it does have that one little dent in it. I, I just wanted to let you know again. And so this is, as I did not do this as Thrive or the, who was this? Mercy House Global did not do this. The company, the um, Fair Trade Friday didn't. It probably happened in packaging or shipping somewhere. There. Also in the March one, you're going to get the Thrive a tote bag, egg, the a 100% canvas tote bag, egg. From the February box, you're going to get the notepad, and, and you're going to get the dishcloth. So, and of course, I'll probably throw in some like face masks and stuff because it's never a giveaway for me without face masks, right? Okay, so oh. Oh, told you most of the rules. Well, nothing in this is sponsored. Nothing in this is affiliated with YouTube, with Fair Trade Fridays, any of the companies in the box. Uh, everything in the giveaway is a gift from me to you. Once I do pull the winner, they will have 48 hours to get in touch with me, either via Instagram or email. Once they get in touch with me, I will package everything up, take it to the post office, away it goes. Because once the post office takes hold of it, I can no longer be held accountable for anything lost, broken, stolen, missing, etc. Uh, I do not have a way to replace these items. Um, okay, folks, again, let us know from 1 to 10 what you thought at, at my box was. Is the Fair Trade Friday a lifestyle box? I know I give it a big old 10, but do you give it a 10? And and then also let us know who had the best box. All right, that is it. That is all I have for you today. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.